Good day guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, yep, a little bit of a different location today for uh, this review, which is actually another new brand, another brand uh, which I haven't seen before, Naviforce. And uh, those who have uh, issues with some of the Chinese names, you'll be glad to hear that this is a, a, a name where there is no question about the pronunciation, no difficulty. So Naviforce, professional waterproof, it says here on the tag. Uh, now this brand, uh, again, is one of those uh, retailers that uh, go through the uh, Chinese resellers such as AliExpress uh, or Gearbest, which is what I have uh, uh, gotten this watch from. So shout out to Gearbest again for making watches available for review on the channel. So uh, right here we have the Naviforce Dual Movement Anadigi Analog Digital NF9095M is the particular model number here. Uh, now this watch uh, comes in a fairly basic packaging so you know this kind of uh, plastic with printing uh, and the tag there which kind of you know lets you know that this perhaps can be found in your local corner store or your post office almost you know this is this wouldn't be too out of place uh, in that type of location I would think. So in there uh, right so unique design international guarantee so there we go. Um, can you actually get this covered if you have a defect? Who knows? One year warranty is what it says there. All right, and then a, a basic uh, instruction manual, which looks like it's been run off a pretty basic printer. And I'll go through the particular functions uh, as I review the watch. So let's get into it. Uh, so Gearbest, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, I'm sure a lot of you would have by now, but it's a you know, massive online Chinese retailer, hundreds of thousands of products do take a look. Uh, they do have a lot of watches on there, some of which you may not find easily elsewhere. Uh, certainly in my experience, there have been some pieces which, um, you know, have only been found on Gearbest. There, there are a lot of pieces that can also be found on AliExpress, but you know, take a look and see what you think. Uh, so this is listed for 30 USD, but it is often on discount, you know, and, and when I kind of chose this for review, it was listed for 21 USD. So very uh, reasonable budget price. Um, and this is the first quartz piece from Gearbest that I have featured, and also the first quartz in a while. The last one I think was in fact uh, a Casio, which I did quite a while back. Um, so this one is also available uh, in other colors, in black, deep brown, gray, and orange. But, but I think certainly this one is the one that grabbed my attention. I think it's aesthetically, uh, at least to me, the most pleasing one. So to take a look and let me know what you think about the different colors and whether in fact you would also go for this. Right, case-wise, 45 millimeters across in the circular case in black PVD that you can see there, 15 millimeters on thickness, 24 millimeter is the lug width and the lug to lug length is 53 uh, millimeters that you can see there. Um, it, it's got a apparently a screw in case back but I think that's a faux case back because there is a tab here. I don't know if that comes through. There's a tab there to lift off the case so I think that's just a, for appearance. It's not a true screw in case back uh, and certainly the, the crown is just a push crown. Right, if you take a look at the symbol there, there's a little bit of etching, but it's just a push crown. Uh, it rotates in the zero position there. So 30 meter water rating is what it's rated at. Uh, so don't go submerging this. I have uh, pushed this to limit a bit, um, you know, washing my hands, taking a shower, what have you. It hasn't been a problem, but I probably wouldn't be game to take this underwater just because it's really not designed for that. Right, the buttons are steel, plain steel. Uh, you can see there's a bit of a faux screw effect there, but that 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 uh, effect there that doesn't actually do anything. It's just for decoration, as far as I can tell. Uh, backlighting is actually EL, so let's see if I can actually demonstrate that. So I'm not sure if that comes through, but uh, there is an EL backlight. Probably not very well there, uh, and loom on the uh, hour and minute hands there. And I'll put a loom shot with the EL backlight on for you to appreciate how. It might look like uh, the, the color and whatnot and brightness that you might see uh, at night that the loom doesn't work very long but it does work uh, the 12 and the 3 and the hour markers actually don't have loom it's just on the hour and minute hands movement wise okay quartz multifunction of course that you can see there dual display both analog and digital display and you can see the time uh, at the six o'clock uh, negative LCD dial there that's set exactly the same as the main time, that's what I've chosen to do. But of course, you can actually set 
uh, a dual time display if you wish. Going through the modes, right, this display here, I don't know what the pattern is. It seems to be pretty random and it obviously changes for each second, but I don't really understand what uh, the, the pattern is. You know, is it random? Is it got some rhyme to it? I, I can't work it out. If you do, let me know. Uh, okay, going through the modes, uh, there's a stopwatch. And you start it like this. Stop, reset, 24 hour, 1 100 second. And then there is, okay, going through again, there is an alarm. So it's set at 8 a.m. right now. And that's what it is. Uh, and, and that's it, you know, otherwise it's a mode setting for the time. And going back to the main time here. And the alarm, uh, let me just let you hear it. Right, that's it, that's the alarm, okay? So, so basic uh, sounding, uh, probably very similar to a lot of Casio's uh, that I have used. So you can use it to remind yourself of something, but it may have trouble waking you up from sleep. Uh, so, I, you know, certainly I wouldn't use it to, as, a, as a wake from sleep alarm. The strap here, you can see it's brown. Nice little etching there for the Navi Force logo, stitched leather. Um, again, Navi Force there, right? genuine leather, whatever that means. It looks like a pretty treated leather actually. This this looks like it, it will hold up to water. Certainly as I said I've, I've wet this and it holds up fine. So that's how it's worked for me. Uh, black PVD buckle of course with again a Navi Force logo on the end there. All right, so that's the watch. Uh, let's put it on for a wrist shot now. And there we have it. The Navi Force Jewel movement analog digital watch on my 17 centimeter wrist. Uh, remember this is 45 millimeters across so it does look pretty large but it's a casual type of watch so I don't mind using this in casual settings. Certainly not appropriate uh, in my usual work setting with uh, shirt and ties. I wouldn't uh, think this is suitable. Okay so what have I enjoyed? Well I, I think it's it's a pretty stylish piece. You know it's ultra budget uh, it's very cheap and it's pretty nice rugged casual style with a basic multifunction quartz module holds up to basic water resistance and that's really what I think I would sell this watch as you know just this kind of like casual budget rugged style. What's not been so good? Well the functions are very basic you know there's no timer, there's only one alarm, uh, there's no time zone setting. You think you could implement those pretty easily. Certainly Casio seems to have no problem packing in a whole bunch of features. This one is pretty basic. I, I would expect that you can do more without a lot more costs right? You know it's just an electronic module in here. It's got a pretty low water rating and again I wouldn't submerge this but you know if you do, if you have this watch and you've done that, let me, do, let me know how you find it. Uh, I would be keen to know people's experiences, it, it would be taking a risk I would think. I think the handset is pretty poor, it could have done a lot better. For example it could have been more like my Mudmaster has a much better uh, handset. That, that minute hand in particular I think is too small, they should have made, made it longer and fatter uh, that area of loom and it would be easier and more visible to tell the time. As it is, uh, I think it's okay but sometimes I have to double take at this watch to kind of confirm what time is actually telling. Okay, so that's my thought on this watch, Naviforce. First I have reviewed from the brand, let me know what you think, particularly if you have any watches from Naviforce, I'd like to hear your experiences. Uh, guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. I'm putting out new content weekly, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I will catch you next time.